A lot to get to today across the Western Pacific. Christine, also known as Trami, pulling away from the Philippines and now exiting the Philippine area of responsibility as it nears Vietnam. Could become a severe tropical storm before bringing heavy rainfall out there. And we have newly named Kong Ray just towards the north and west of Guam. That's also expected to enter the Philippine area of responsibility and the chances could recurve and head off towards Okinawa, rounding the West Pack High here towards the north. Currently, though, that storm is impacting our friends across Saipan. Even as it pulls away, you have that moisture flow coming in on the back side of it. But take a look at the forecast track, big, fat, cone of air in that extended forecast. There is some bifurcation. That means basically a kind of divergence in the long range models about how this could kind of get picked up by a trough towards the north or be a west runner and impact northeastern Luzon. More and more confidence today though. Probably it's going to turn towards the north. It could impact the southern Japanese islands including Okinawa as a typhoon. Now the big question is the West Pack High located right in here. How is this going to round that and could we see a weakening in that ridge that's going to allow this to turn towards the north? Plus, could we get maybe not a full on Fujiwara effect, but an interaction with Trami, Christine off here towards the west. Remember these storm systems want to roll downhill. So if it gets close enough to that, it could edge further towards Luzon and you can see even here with the GFS guidance kind of uh, some of the ensemble members pull it off here all of the ECMWF turn it towards the north so at this time you know based on what I'm seeing on satellite and based on what I am seeing uh, in these guidance I would say more than likely scenario this is going to turn towards the north towards Taiwan or Okinawa but there is still some uncertainty here and there is still some, uh, I guess, uh, just um, the, the point is we want to continue to watch this. That high pressure ridge right off here towards north is going to continue to keep this storm from moving towards the west. But see this cloud cover? That is that troughing I'm talking about that could erode that ridge just a bit, allowing it to kind of turn off towards the north. Let's talk about Christine, though. As it pulls away from the Philippines, signal force warnings being dropped at this time. Center of circulation is continuing to wrap up, albeit the wind field quite expansive from this storm system. As the northeast monsoon continues to interact with it off towards the north, though, it is expected to strengthen as it heads off here towards the west. You can see that forecast track with this getting up near 110, possibly 120 kilometers per hour, making it that typhoon intensity before it stalls right off the coast of Da Nang and eventually could loop back towards the east. Now, I know that sounds terrifying, right? Could it come back to the Philippines? Well, it really depends on our interaction with Kong Ray back here towards the east. You have that high pressure ridge off towards the north, kind of this is gonna be bumping up against it. But if it does stall out and decides to turn back, it is going to significantly weaken. Now, what I think is probably gonna happen is Kong Ray is gonna likely turn towards the north, right? But it could tap into the moisture from what is left of Christine Trami and pull that moisture across the Philippines, kind of just sucking it up like a black hole here and pulling that moisture. So we're probably going to see moisture and more additional rainfall on the west coast of Luzon, places like Region 1 over towards Manila, if that falls apart and kind of gets sucked up into the storm system that is developing and moving off towards the west and maybe off towards the north. But like I mentioned before, there is that big range and cone of air here from northeastern Luzon to Taiwan to Okinawa all need to be watching this very closely and then how it's going to interact with our storm system further towards the uh, the west here. And at the same time, we still have a cold surge on going on top of that. So there's a lot of impacts to be had. Key thing, yeah, we're gonna be looking at heavy rainfall into Da Nang, currently seeing impacts back towards Guam from this one. And then at the same time, we still gonna have that southwesterly flow being pulled in as Kong Ray starts to edge off towards north. And that means places like Mindoro, Palawan, Western Luzon are gonna be looking at an increase in that precipitation through the mid and latter part of this upcoming week. It is a fluid nature. There's a lot happening here, a very dynamic setup, which is why um, you wanna analyze these, not just look at one specific model, or for example, this model saying on Wednesday, Okinawa getting creamed by full on typhoon possible but i wouldn't uh 
I wouldn't say this is the exact forecast just yet because there's so much happening here. This is just a, a pinball bouncing around in the machine and uh, there's definitely a possibility of that forecast changing. With that said, if I was in Taiwan or Okinawa, I would be being ready, getting ready for a potential storm system because there definitely is that in the cards as we look ahead um, through this upcoming week, which is why you want to continue to check in with your local official agencies. I'm not an official agency by any means. You're doing the right thing by you know getting ready and being prepared for a storm and staying weather aware. But uh, yeah, it, it make sure you continue to check back in. The last thing we need across the Bicol region, over towards places like Batangas, uh, Cavite, Cavite City, NCR, um, is another storm system because you've already had the heavy rainfall flooding rains out here and we are still probably going to see rain setting the next week last thing you need is a typhoon and hopefully this does recur towards the north so you do not get a full-on typhoon but we probably are going to see as i mentioned an increase in the rains through this upcoming week if that southwesterly flow does continue to pick up for example like manila tuesday wednesday thursday I do expect an increase in the showers uh, for your area. And we can even switch over to places like Baguio Tuesday and the Wednesday. I once again expect an increase in the rainfall and the showers as we head into um, the mid to latter part of the upcoming week. There's a lot of impacts to be had here. Our friends in Shargao, a little bit on the East Coast, you're probably going to get some big surf, but you're not going to be seeing too much in that precipitation for you out there. But uh, there is that chance of uh, some pretty decent surf coming up, of course, off of these storms. In places like the Val City, uh, you're a little bit further towards the south, probably going to be mixing, missing out on a majority of this. I think this is going to be more of a Manila impactor or over towards Okinawa uh, as we go ahead into the mid part of the upcoming week. So plenty to talk about. And of course, I'm going to continue to keep you posted here at Western Pacific Weather. So make sure you check back in. If you want to help out this channel, check out our Patreon, the link is down below. I can't thank you guys enough who all support the channel. You're all legends. And if you found these updates useful, even a little bit, and you have the money to spare, because I'm never going to put this behind a paywall, please do check out that link down below. As always, thanks for watching. And number thing, of course, is stay safe out there, friends. Have a good day.